Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Virgos. Virgo, I'm going to read your person's energy on the left, your energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. At any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And uh, also a friendly reminder, I'm available for private reading, so those links are down below in the description box. And don't forget to do those youtube -y things, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if these messages resonate. All right, let's go ahead and see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces for their highest and greatest good. All right, so your person's energy, the Knave of Wands, your energy, okay, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, you're maybe not a little bit unsure about being compatible with this person. We have the Queen of Swords going on between you. So some of you, this is like a friendship or somebody that you're talking to or crushing on, maybe at work, maybe at school, maybe in the neighborhood. Um, but I, th I feel like you're a little bit on the fence, Pisces, about whether or not you two are right for each other. Maybe there's a bit of an age difference. Um, and we see the Two of Pentacles. So Spirit's advice is it may be time to make a decision here pretty soon about whether or not you want to take a risk or you want to take a leap of faith here, Pisces. Your person is fiery and passionate. I feel like they're crushing on you. I do feel like you're a little bit concerned about this person being a bit impulsive. Um, you know, fire energy is absolutely beautiful. It's very passionate. It's very impulsive. It's very direct energy. You know, it can be very sexy and very fun and adventurous. But some of my Pisces, you're questioning whether or not, you know, this person has the emotional maturity. Again, maybe there's an age difference or you have different backgrounds or you show up in relationships differently. Because I kind of feel with the Queen of Swords right now, you two are just friends or, you know, there's not a romantic connection yet. Although I do think the feelings are there. But my Pisces, you're on the fence here. Mm, your person, the Five of Swords, Venus and Aquarius energy, and the Two of Wands. Okay, some of my Pisces, you know that this person has other options or gets a lot of attention. Some of you, you're not sure if, like, you might be looking for somebody who's a little bit more chill. And I kind of feel like, I don't know if this person gets nervous around you or you've been talking to them or you've been hanging out with them and you're like, oh, I don't know, like I can feel some conflict and drama possibly here with this person. And I feel like my Pisces, you're like, I, I kind of want something a bit more chill, but there's something very exciting about this person. There's something very fun. There's something very sexy. So I can see here that you're just weighing up your options. Spirit is saying it's time to make a decision about whether or not you want to invest in them, but you're not sure you're on the same path or you want the same things. Yeah, I riff an energy in reverse. This, I feel this is going to be a bit of a departure for you, Pisces, with this person. Again, they might be just very different than your usual type and expectations. So they could have a very different background from you. I do feel some of my Pisces, you're not sure if your friends and your family are going to get along. Um, some of you might even be worried, like, what are your friends and family going to say? Because this person just seems so different. Like I said, they seem a bit fun, but I do feel like there's like there's an element of risk here that you're picking up on with this person. All right. Some of you, too, you're not sure you're ready because you've just gotten out of another connection. And the Ace of Pentacles, you are seriously considering saying no to this person or not investing in this person right now. I kind of feel like you're interviewing this person, the Queen of Swords, you're vetting this person, Pisces. Again, I get there's a bit of an age difference, or at least I feel like you're a bit more mature than this person in some ways. There is divine assistance here, temperance energy. This person does want this. They're seeing the Two of Cups with you, Pisces. Um, I, you know, this person very well may be an earth angel. I do feel like they're very spiritual, but they, they could be a Sagittarius in particular. They're hoping that there's a future here. They're really hoping that there's a future, that they can make things work here with you. And um, yeah, I, I just feel like the Eight of Pentacles, a lot of my Pisces, you're just like, I don't know, they're, they're a big departure for you. Um, not to say that my Pisces are worried about taking risks, because I, I do think Pisces energy does take risks. But some of you, I feel like you're really hard at work on your stability, maybe buying a home you know, your finances, your health. And some of you, like there's something here that feels risky about this person. Maybe they don't have their finances in order. Maybe you see that they're a little bit irresponsible in that respect or in certain respects. And I feel like this is where you're really questioning, like, do I want to get involved with this person? Um, you know, because I'm, you know, you're prioritizing your stability and your commitment. And we see the nine of cups. This person definitely, uh, they, they want to get with you, Pisces. I'm going to tell you that much. 
Um, but I do see there is a little bit of a flippant energy about them. And I do feel like there's that element of risk here that's holding you back. And some of you, maybe you can't even pinpoint why that is. For others of you, you're like, yes, I know this person's very sexy. They're very fun, but I'm just not sure I see a future here. So let's see what spirit has to say about their energy. All right. So yeah, this person, you you know, this person has a lot of options. Maybe they've even told you that maybe that's something that kind of bothers you a little bit. Like, is this person a player? Are they serious? Cause I can see that you're very serious about whom you're investing your time with some of you. Maybe you did have a one night stand or hook up with this person. Um, but this person, you know what I feel like with this Sagittarius energy and this fire energy, I feel like this person has been brutally honest with you about who they are. And, and maybe some of you, you don't like that, but then there's another part of my Pisces out there that I like, but they were really honest with me. Like this person doesn't seem to be like, um, you know, doesn't, they're not like hiding anything. And there's something endearing about that energy for sure. Um, but we see heartbroken. Yeah. You've been hurt in the past Pisces. So I can see that you're, that you're grieving. And some of you, you might feel like you're still kind of in that rebound energy. So that's where this caution can be coming from. Yeah. But you definitely, you're feeling like there's a block or a restraint because you don't want to get into a codependent situation. And some of you, either because there's an age difference, there's a maturity difference, there's a, we show up in the relationship differently, or there's, you know, disparity between finances. Some of you, you are worried about this becoming a codependent situation. Okay. And yes, a lot of my Pisces, this is, this is the big question mark. Is this person, it can, what they have to offer, is it enough? Because I, I feel like for a lot of my Pisces, there's something fun and exciting and very sexy about this person, but you're like, there's some red flags here, right? Let's see what they have to say to you, what they want to say to you lifetimes. All right. We share the memory of many lifetimes together. You are, you are as familiar today as you were centuries ago. Some of you, they've already told you your past life soulmates. I feel like this person has said certain things that really ring true for you that are kind of making you feel confused. You know, possibly, you know, they are quite spiritual. So I, I feel like they've said things that you do like and that you feel as well. But how can we shorten the distance between us? See, I think this person's coming on a little bit strong, Pisces. Um, and, and maybe some of you like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being chased. And again, this person's very direct, but I feel like this person is like, all right, how can we make this happen? What is it you need? And, and I just feel there's something there that you're not fully trusting. And, um, and also spirit saying, or they want to say to you, have faith. There are steps to making this happen. Just know what is meant to be will not pass us by. So for some of you, they're asking, you know, you Pisces to have faith in them, you know, that maybe they're telling you that they're going to change their ways or, you know, things can be different. All right. So let's see, what is this person's next actions towards my Pisces? What are, what is, what are this person's next actions towards you? All right, we get the eight of wands energy in reverse. Um, I do think this person is going to come in and make it hard for you to walk away. <laughs> okay. I do think that they're going to fight for this. I do think that they're going to plead their case. And I think it's going to be a tough decision here about whether or not you want to invest in this connection. Now with the eight of wands energy in reverse, they might slow down a little bit if they're sensing that you're kind of feeling like they're rushing things or things are moving too fast, which I think is a good thing. But I'm also seeing here that you do have to read between the lines of communication because I do think this person is very good at communicating. I feel like they're one of those people that come up and like they say the right things, they compliment you and it's like, it's nice, but it can feel a bit overwhelming. Okay. So do read between the lines of communication and we get the three of coins, you know, spirits advice here for you is really like, are you compatible? Do you want the same things? Remember the right person is not going to rush you Pisces. Okay. And you know, it's important, you know, do you want children? What do you want your future to look like? And can, do you see this person being able to build that with you? Whatever your, whatever that future looks like, if it's children, if it's not children, if it's, you know, uh, traveling a lot, if it's, you know, being homebodies, is it building a business, you know, because I do see for a lot of you, financial security is very important. Some of you have learned a lesson in the past that you're, 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 re you're recovering from. All right. Let's see what spirits advice is for you past life relationship. So spirit is saying this is a past life connection. So you have known each other before. This person may even say that to you. You might even be feeling that, but remember, it doesn't always mean that that means that we should get together with them if it doesn't feel right. Okay. 
um, and we see release your ex. Some of my Pisces, I do feel you're still healing from something here, but Spirit's saying keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So some of my Pisces, you know, vet this person a little bit more to see if you really are on the same page or not. At the bottom of the deck, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I, I do feel spirit saying, don't shut the door just yet. Get more information so that you make a decision that you're really confident, uh, confident with here, Pisces. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Pisces. Take care.